Hello everyone. Welcome to AVLSI lecture number 12, part number one. And uh, today we are going to continue our discussion on CS amplifier with source degeneration. So specifically today we are going to derive the voltage gain expression using the conventional approach of uh, finding the V out upon V in expression from the small signal model. So let us begin. Before that, let's revise what we have done last time. So last time we have derived the exact expression of voltage gain using the lemma. So for that, we have first found out capital GM, transconductance of the amplifier, output impedance of the amplifier R out. And uh, finally we wrote AV is equal to minus GM into R out and found out the exact expression of small signal voltage gain. So we are going to do the same thing today, but with the conventional approach. So let us begin. So first of all, we'll draw the small signal model of degenerated CS amplifier from this diagram, right? So here it includes the body effect. So there will be a presence of a current source GMB into VBS. Okay, so that will be there. So from here, gate terminal is connected to V in, correct? And between the gate and source, we have VGS, it's an open circuit. Then from the drain terminal uh, towards the ground, we have RAD, right? So here we have RAD. And uh, between the drain and source, we have GM into VGS. Lambda is to be considered, hence RO is present. And body effect is to be considered, hence GMB into VBS is present. Okay. And uh, between the source terminal as ground, we have a register RS connected. And uh, the output terminal is connected across the drain. So this is my small signal model of a degenerated CS amplifier. Now, V out voltage is parallel to RD. So hence the current flowing through RD will be V out upon RD, right? Now over here, the current flowing through RO will be equal to actually uh, V out minus Vs upon RO, okay? The subtraction of the two node voltages divided by the resistance will be the current. Again, I repeat, the current flowing through RO will be equal to uh, V out minus Vs upon RO. Okay, and uh, since the current flowing through the drain terminal is, you know, leaving current, uh, so the current flowing through the, uh, you know, source terminal will be minus V out upon RD, because at the drain terminal, the incoming current and the outgoing current should be same. Okay, so that's why the sign over here is minus V out upon RD, right? Because here the current is leaving the drain terminal, it's positive. So current entering the drain terminal should be negative over here. V minus V out upon RD, right? And uh, the voltage across this resistor, we call it Vs. So with this information, let us begin and find out the expression of V out upon V in. So first of all, what is source voltage given by? Source voltage is given by current times resistance, that is minus V out upon RD times RS. So this becomes our step number one. Step number two will be what is VBS? So VBS is nothing but my bulk voltage minus my source voltage. Bulk voltage is actually zero connected to ground. So VBS will be equal to minus Vs only, okay? So which is Vs is minus uh, V out upon RD into RS. So here we will have plus V out into RS upon RD. So we have step number two completed. Now, what do we do is now we apply the KVL to the gate source loop. So what do we get? V in minus VGS minus VS is equal to zero. So here V in will be equal to VGS plus VS. So VS from step number one, we can add it over here. So V in will be equal to VGS minus V out into RS divided by RD. So we have to write VGS in terms of everything else. So VGS will be equal to V in plus V out RS divided by RD. So this becomes the equation number 11.3.3. Now next step, we will apply the KCL at the source node, right? So uh, if we apply the KCL at the source node, I will require this diagram. So let me copy this diagram temporarily over there below, over here. This is temporary, we will delete it later. Okay, so here it is. When we apply the KCL at the source node, what do we get? I suppose I will slightly reduce it. Yeah, and I increase the font over here like this. Okay, 
so what do you mean by applying kcl at the source node so source node we have incoming currents and outgoing currents so what is the uh, you know outgoing current over here from the source node minus v out upon rd is the outgoing current okay so here we have written minus v out upon rd we study incoming currents so at the source node the incoming currents are gm into vgs also gmb into vbs so we have to write gm vgs plus gmb into v, v uh, gmb into vbs right plus what is the current flowing through ro v out minus vs upon ro okay agreed so the three incoming currents at the source node will be gm vgs gmb vbs v out minus vs upon ro so these are the three currents and outgoing current at the source node will be minus v out upon R, rd okay so now it's just a matter of uh, substitution right so the first term will remain as it is minus v out upon rd and uh, here in place of vgs we will substitute from equation number 11.3.3 the value of vgs over here okay so we instead of vgs we will write v in plus v out rs into rd okay so that is what we will write over here oh sorry for that okay fine so let's proceed forward i think this is by mistake yeah then we have v out minus vs upon ro so do we have the expression for vs yes we have from equation number 11.3.1 it's minus v out rs in upon rd so we substitute over it over here v out minus vs so vs is actually minus v out rs upon rd so it becomes plus over here so this expression we add over here right upon ro and uh, vbs expression we have already found out from again it's equal to um, you know v out rs upon rd upon rd so we substitute the value over here so gmb into vbs will be v out upon rd actually here it should be positive sign not negative sign it's a mistake actually let me correct it yeah it will be a positive sign only because it is gmb into vbs and what is vbs positive v out into rs upon rd so this value we substituted over here okay so gmb into v out rs divided by rd and that is equal to 0 so now what we have to do we have to club the terms of uh, you know all the terms of uh, you know v out together and v in separately so we will do that shortly just wait yeah so what do we have over here actually over here we have put minus v out we have taken on the left hand side actually yes correct it is so minus v out upon rd so this minus term will come because it's pushed onto the left hand side so this is also been pushed onto the left hand side so here negative only will come sorry for that earlier i have okay so here negative will only come yeah that is correct and uh, now what we have to do is we have uh, multiplied the entire you know left hand side by minus 1 so what do we get v out upon rd plus gm into this term which is v in plus v out rs upon rd plus v out plus v out rs upon rd divided the whole divided by ro plus gmb into v out rs divided by rd so now we club the terms of v out together so we take v out upon rd common so what do we get 1 plus um v out into rd is uh, gm into v rs right over here from here v out upon rd is common so we'll get gm into rs and uh, then we get rd upon ro where do we get this from rd upon ro okay so let's check that yeah from here itself it is will be rd upon ro and uh, then rs upon ro right from here actually rd upon ro then rs upon ro plus gmb into rs yeah because v out upon rd is common right so gmb into rs term will come from here v out upon rd is common so rd upon ro will come and rs upon ro will come 
this term will not come because this is v in so that will be going on to the right hand side will which will become minus gm into v in correct i hope you have followed so we have clubbed the terms of v out upon rd to get and now we are clubbing the i mean taking the lcm of ro and we simplify it further and finally we get the expression of v out upon v in which is given by this huge expression as you can see over here okay so i'll i'll keep it on the screen keep it on to the screen for some time you can have a look how this has come up if you have a query you can ask or post your comments i mean post your doubts in the comment section okay v out upon v in you this huge expression so that is nothing but my small single voltage gain of cs amplifier with source degeneration okay so we have this expression which is 11.3.4 which is uh, we have solved this by conventional approach by using the small signal model and finding out v out and v in relationship so this is again the exact expression of the volt, small signal voltage gain and in order to recheck whether it's the same thing so what do we do is we convert this into the form which we have got earlier in the form of lima right now what is lima says av is equal to minus gm into r out correct so earlier we have derived gm and r out so here we have written av is equal to minus gm into r out expression right where gm was this and r out was this if you look carefully in this expression okay if i multiply and divide by this term it will be converted into lima that is av will be minus gm into r out only if you can see it carefully okay so here we have rd already there so we have added this multiplied this term by numerator and denominator and we get got it in the form of av is equal to minus capital gm into r out find where gm was actually equivalent transconductance of a degen degenerated mosfet m1 all right and r out was actually the output resistance of the amplifier fine so yeah so the expression is verified over here it's exactly the same as we obtained using the lima technique that is finding capital gm and r out so in this way we can find out the small signal uh, you know voltage gain using any technique using first using the lima technique and secondly using this technique directly fine so this is the exact expression for the voltage gain yeah so let's proceed forward for this diagram v out upon v in exact expression is given by this expression exact voltage gain yeah so now let's analyze a topic which is the large signal behavior of your common source amplifier with rs equal to 0 and rs not equal to 0 so you know the drain current formula is given by half mu n c ox w over l vgs minus vth the whole square where v in was actually equal to uh, vgs right so in this case my formula for the voltage gain when rs was zero was minus gm into rd right so your id if you plot the relation between id and v in it's actually this way okay because id is related to square of v in so it's an exponential i mean it's a increase um, which is a quadratic increase and then if you consider the gm value right so it is half mu n c ox w over l vgs minus vth so until you reach the vth value okay your gm is almost like uh, zero because the current is zero after that we see over here gm and vn has a linear relationship okay so gm and vn varies linearly after my device has turned on fine so this was my common source amplifier with rs equal to 0 this behavior this behavior you see was for common source amplifier with rs equal to 0 cs amplifier with rs equal to 0 where gain was given by minus gm into rd and uh, this is the relation between id and v in and gm and v now if we go over here and find out the relation between the various parameters for a common source amplifier with rs not equal to 0 we have the following changes so if we vary the value of i i mean uh, id with v in okay so what do we have let's check it out so for rs value uh, what do we have your gain formula given by 
gn is approximately given by minus gm into rd where gm is actually approximately equal to gm upon 1 plus gm into rs so we can approximately write the gain formula as minus of rd divided by 1 upon gm plus rs okay so that's the formula for uh, av gain and what is gm given by gm is approximately equal to 1 upon 1 upon gm plus rs okay so what do we observe over here for the uh, you know current i mean uh, we have a current over here right current versus v in so for rs value for rs value very very much greater than 1 upon gm so what is gm equal to gm will be equal to 1 upon approximately equal to 1 upon rs so what is gm actually gm is nothing but delta v in upon delta uh, delta id upon delta v in right which approximately equal to rs okay and this is valid when id value is large enough so when id value is large enough uh, you know uh, your uh, id versus v in will be almost like a straight line right and the slope will be like 1 upon rs when id value current value is small when current value is small your rs is very much smaller as compared to 1 upon gm right so your capital gm will be equal to small gm okay so yeah that is what is happening so now next is as your value of so what will happen when v in increases your id also increases with it but at a lower rate as compared to the earlier case okay earlier case it was increasing rapidly with the input current but right now it will not it will be limited by the value of uh, one upon rs id will when our id is large now let's look into capital gm upon uh, v in so obviously the gm capital gm value will be zero until the transistor uh, vgs voltage is greater than vth and the transistor is on uh, now what will happen is as your gm small gm increases when id is very very small when small gm increases the effect of the degeneration that is uh, 1 plus gm into rs this is now 1 upon 1 plus gm into rs in gm expression becomes more significant because we are increasing the value of gm right so for very large values of v in your id is approximately a linear function of v in okay so what will happen is for very large value of v in the id is approximately equal to a linear function of v in and that linear function of lean is v in is equal to 1 upon rs i mean that's what it is right v, v gm approaches 1 upon rs term and uh, in the in the graph of gm versus uh, v in what will happen is for very large values of v in what will happen uh, your uh, the gm goes on increasing and uh, gm will be approximately equal to reaching 1 upon G rs value okay so here it is for large values of v in your gm approaches 1 upon rs okay fine so here when the v in value is very very large your capital gm value will be approaching 1 upon rs value so here is the relation between capital gm and v in for a cs amplifier with rs present okay so these were the uh, large signal behavior uh, this was the large signal behavior of cs amplifier with rs equal to 0 and rs not equal to 0 fine so you can have a look at it i'll keep the screen for some time okay so let's proceed to the next topic now yeah so i hope that this is clear to you all fine so with this we have come to the end of this session and uh, in this session we have completed the large signal behavior of cs amplifier with rs equal to 0 and rs equal to non zero and uh, we have also found out the small signal voltage gain using the conventional technique for a cs amplifier with source degeneration so that is all for today next time we will start continue with this session and we'll start with gain by inspection So until then have a good day and thank you